Okay, so now we will see how to find the solution to this question. How do we read this matrix? There are two players, player A and player B. Player A has four strategies available to him. Player B also has four strategies available to him. This is the payoff matrix that is given. So for example, for if player A adopts strategy number one and player B also adopts strategy number one, the payoff for player A will be 450. If player B adopts strategy number two, the payoff for player B will player A will be 230. If player B is having strategy three and player A continues with strategy one, then the payoff is 200 and so on. So this is how we read the payoff matrix. Now, when we want to solve this problem, first thing we have to find the values of maximin and minimax. Maximin, that is maximum out of minimum values. So first we will find the minimum values for each row and that is what we call row minima. Row minima means finding the minimum values of each row. So we start from row number 1, 450, 230, 200, 300. So the minimum value is 200. So we will write here row minima value as 200. Then for second, second row minus 50, minus 80, minus 40 and 240. So minimum value is minus 80. So we will write here row minima for row 2 as minus 80. Third row 280, 320, 150, 60. So minimum value is 60. So here for row 3, row minima is 60. Row 4, 450, 380, 100 and 150. So minimum value is 100. So here the row minima will be 100. Okay, so this is how we calculate the row minima. The next step is calculating maximin. Maximin means maximum out of minimum. So when you compare all the minimum values, all row minima values, the highest value is 200. So we will write here maximin as 200. So this is the maximin value for player A. Now same way, now we will calculate column wise column maxima values. Okay, see for rows we were calculating the, we were taking the minimum values, for column we will be taking the maximum value. Now column 1 maximum value 450 minus 50, 280, 450. So you can take any 450. So the highest value is 450. So we will write here that our first value is 450. Then next, second column 230 minus 80, 320, 380. So the highest value is 380. So here, now we will write here second column maxima as 380. Then next third column. 200 minus 40, 150, 100. So maximum value is 200. Okay, so third column we will write column maxima as 200. And last column 300, 240, 60, 150. Highest value is 300. So we will write here maximum value as 300. Okay, so now we have calculated the column maxima. Now here we will collect. Now we will calculate minimax. Minimax is opposite of maximin. Minimax means minimum out of maximum. So you compare all the values of column maxima and you will find that the minimum value is 200. So here below this we will write minimax as 200. So for player A, maximin was 200. For player B, minimax was 200. So now we can say that maximin is equal to minimax for this example. And when maximin and minimax values are same, then we can say that we have reached the saddle point. So here we have reached the saddle point where the maximin and minimax values are same. Okay, so we can say maximin since maximin is equal to minimax, therefore saddle point exists. And now we can write our final solution. Number one.
maximin for layer A is 200 then second minimax for layer B is also 200 now the strategies which strategies each player should adopt so these are the best strategies or optimal strategies now see for player A the maximum was the first value 200 so that will be strategy number 1 so we can say for player A it is strategy 1 and for player B the minimax value is in the third column so that is strategy number 3 so we will say for player B player B should adopt strategy number 3 and lastly the value of the game the value of the game is equal to the saddle point that is the 200 value so we will say value of the game is 200 and this is our solution now we complete Okay, so this is the final solution. Okay, so just to recap, what we will do, what we have done, you see, we started, we do, we have constructed the payoff matrix that is given in the question. Then we start horizontally. We find the row minima values for each row. That is the minimum value for each row: 200, minus 80, 60, and 100. Out of that, we select the highest value. That is the maximum. So the highest value out of all row minima values was 200. That was in the row number one. Then vertically we select the highest value, maximum value that is column maxima. So we select maximum values of each column that is 450, 380, 200 and 300 and then here we calculate minimax. Minimax is minimum out of maximum. So out of all the column maxima, the minimum value was 200 that was in column number 3. And since maximum and minimax values are equal, that is why we can say that there is a saddle point and the saddle point is happening at 200. And then we can write our final answer. Maximum for A is 200, minimax for B is 200, strategies for player A, optimal strategy is strategy number 1, that is the row number 1. For player B, optimal strategy is strategy number 3, corresponding with the minimax, and value of the game is 200. Okay, so now the solution is complete.